Hi and welcome to this overview of the IFC to GIS converter tool that's been developed by Victorian Transport Digital Engineering. In this video, we're going to walk you through the practicalities of using this tool. From the basics of how to convert your validated IFC file into a GIS ready format, to the positive impacts that this has on the project lifecycle. Before proceeding, we should always ensure that our IFC model files have been validated using the model validator tool. This will ensure that the file is of the correct quality to be brought into our GIS. There's a link to that tool in the description of this video. To begin, you can access the IFC to GIS converter tool via the link in the description of this video. The interface is designed for a seamless drag and drop experience. Begin by dragging your IFC file here or selecting Browse Resources and locating the file on your computer. You'll see the upload progress bar while the IFC file uploads. Once the file has successfully uploaded, the file name will appear here. Now, we need to input the metadata that will later be viewable within the GIS and other systems. Requiring this data now aids in reporting, storing, and accessing this data in the future. The metadata we're using here has been defined in the MTIA Digital Engineering Data Specification. To learn more about this document, there is a link in the description of this video. So let's enter the following metadata for this file as an example. The appropriate information for these fields can also be found within the Digital Engineering Data Specification. Once all the fields are accurately completed, we can begin the conversion by clicking OK. While the file is being converted, you'll see a running progress indicator. Upon successful conversion, a completed status appears with a green tick and a download URL will be provided. Click on this link to download the compressed file, which contains your GIS ready file. We won't cover the import process of the GIS ready file into the GIS in this video. However, here is a look at how your converted file will appear within the MTIA 3D GIS. Once the file has been uploaded into the GIS, the imported layer can now be found in the layer list menu. Clicking on the associated model reveals some of the metadata that had been input in earlier steps in this video. As you can see, the IFC to GIS converter is a key tool that aids in enhancing the entire project lifecycle with its ability to seamlessly merge IFC files into the GIS. This enhances planning, design, delivery and operations and maintenance with comprehensive spatial insights and key metadata.